That's exciting. <laughs> Glad I didn't walk away from that one. Well, here we are at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. It has been less than a week since I was here last, but the last time I was here, I had Laurel with me, and I feel like I was distracted, and I had the baby, and so today we would try it again, um, and I could spend a little bit more time searching the shelves and um, seeing what I could find. So, without further delay, let's head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna be a little bit more thorough today. <laughs> I think we're gonna head in this direction, which is the opposite of the way I normally go. It looks like they've added some new stuff to this case in here. Those Gobel Angels, I've never seen those before. $49 on those. They're very sweet and I love these. I think those are Athenian Owls. That's pretty impressive. I think that's carved from, uh, is that carved from bamboo or is it just carved in general? Asian seam boat in a case. This is that famous boat that just sunk. I'm almost certain. Um, there was this famous like restaurant boat that they had and they were trying to move it. But it sunk in the in the ocean. I think I just read that article recently. And it is oh twenty-four dollars. I don't know why I looked at that and I thought it was a hundred, because I was like, I don't know if I need it for a hundred. But it appears to be in decent condition. A lot of the times the pieces are all broken off and there's not much you can do with it. The only thing I would say is that top piece right there looks like that's broken, but um, $24. If it does just happen to be that um, that boat that I'm thinking about that just sunk, it might be, uh, there might be something to that. Those are some cool poker sets. <laughs> Very different from the one that I found the other day that was in sad condition. $40 for the large one. I don't see a price on a smaller one though. There's some really nice looking points. $48. Those are like really nice. They're almost like too nice looking. Maybe I should send a picture of that to Andrew. He knows them better than I do. I have found a few over the years though. Andrew just got back to me and he said no on the arrowheads. But I want to check out these plates in here. What are these? A set of six musical plates. PV. Hmm. It's just kind of obscure. They're all different. Interesting. PV. I don't know who that is. Okay, well, a quick search on eBay solved that mystery. Um, I guess they are Perry VL. <laughs> French music opera series plates. So these are all um, all listed, so that people are asking for them. I couldn't find any sold comps, so looks like they're asking 69 here, and uh, I just don't think they're really worth it. It's a really pretty pattern. Is that Weller? Huh? There's no markings on it. I would assume it's maybe Weller or Roseville. Roseville, forty dollars. Pink. Bowl. That's all we've got to go on. But that pattern is. It's really pretty. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Kind of glad I hesitated before walking away. I did a Google image search and I got some results and I'm going to share those with you. So, the pattern is Benetta. B A N E D A. These are sold. Um, in the last 90 days, and you can see that this pattern is actually kind of desirable. I'm trying to find one that's similar to what we have here. It looks like this one is pretty close. Um, that one sold for 120. But all I mean, 81 is the least that one has sold for. So he's only asking 40 dollars for this. I'm going to check it over for any damage. Um, it looks like there is. A repair there possibly. I would say that's likely a repair but it's on the base and I mean it kind of blends in it's not terrible. I think I'm gonna stick that in my basket with my ship. That's exciting. <laughs> Glad I didn't walk away from that one. Some bookends when I was here the other day. I didn't even notice these bookends. Um, it says Deer Feeding Bookends. They're super art deco in style, and I'm kind of, kind of digging them. 
I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they have a mold mark on the bottom. I honestly don't know who makes them. But I feel like at $35, they may be worth picking up. Well, I was just here a few days ago, so I wouldn't expect this booth to have very much new stuff, but it's always worth looking. Kinda like that. Daisy bowl. <laughs> From a distance and at an angle, it kind of reminded me of Catherine Home. Holmes? Home? Those birds are adorable. That looks like it wants to fall off. Maybe we should set it like that. I don't remember this elephant here. $35. Kanawa glass. It's adorable. And this behind it looks sweet and interesting. Red clear base, $20. That bottom is so polished and smooth. I'm very surprised there's no markings on that. Okay, so I didn't see much new stuff in here today. Uh, but I check every time I come, just in case. These are fun little trinkets, mini gumball machines. $9. I wonder if those are intended for dolls. Huh? Oh, it's chalet. Hmm. It's not really a form that I would expect from a chalet, but it's absolutely beautiful. And this is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. This is Fenton. So this is a stretch glass. You can see the Fenton sticker there. The pattern appears to be English hobnail, but what's interesting is that it's on the inside. The outside is smooth, and the inside has the pattern. $38. I really kind of like that stretch glass. I have a weakness for stretch glass. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take a shot on that. I've never seen that form before. It's probably more contemporary, um, but we'll give it a shot. Also notice this dish. Handmade. Uh, looks like there's a chip there. I suspect that this might be from Turkey. It's just a guess. This is a really nice vase. Um, it's Phoenix glass. I'm surprised it's in such good condition. There's hardly any chips on it either. All the way from the 1930s. Well, I did not have time to venture down this way on my last visit. So let's check it out. I like this. 20% off, and then my prices are going down, not up. Unlike everything else in the world, am I right? Um, so let's go check this out and see what we can find. This wagon is so cool. <laughs> that would be fun for Laurel, but I feel like it would also be a safety hazard because there's no rails. <laughs> This guy looks like he's made out of soapstone. Oh yeah, he's super heavy. He's really neat though. Oh my gosh, super heavy. There are some fun shirts. Pixar. Alright. Not seeing a whole lot. Oh, here's some Karak. Birds on it. Only $12. That's neat. It's like an old toy. Mars Lander as is. Only six bucks. Oh my gosh, I think that's made out of paper or cardboard. That's surprising that it survived, honestly. Eek. I'm afraid I'm going to break it even. You're just going to stay right there. Fluted cranberry glass vase. Ooh, that's really pretty. There's a pair of them, um, but they're priced separately. $28.50. This looks like fake Roseville, unfortunately. Yeah, it's pretty sloppy. Okay, I don't need this painting. I'm not buying this painting, but I thought it was neat and that we'd check it out. I love the colors of it. Is it an original? I don't think it is because it ends like right on the edge of the canvas. 
There's a signature on it. I can't quite make that out. Gusterson. The colors are really fun on it. What kind of vessel is this? Pilar. Japan Black Glaze Pottery. Oh, there's a chip in it. That's a shame. Hmm. I would say that's probably Raku. Stay. Actually, I have a few interesting pieces of pottery in here. I like the looks of this one. Oh, there's a marking there, but goodness. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I don't see any pricing on it though. I feel like everything I'm picking up today is void of prices. This is neat too. Check this out. <laughs> I think the florals are original and then somebody went in and painted baskets. Oh yeah, look. In 1913. Royal Austria. So the plate probably was originally just florals. And then in 1913, someone thought, you know what? Those flowers really need to be in baskets. Let's fix that. <laughs> this bird. Crafted with bird. So it is 50% off. The price on it is 39. I'm kind of surprised that there are no markings or signatures anywhere on this. I mean, it seems pretty well made and well carved. So far, I've had to make no trips up front, which, which is nice, because usually I'm walking back and forth seven million times. Um, but I wanted to look through here. It appears as though that raccoon, raccoon uh, vase has sold. I thought that was just the coolest thing. But there are some new goodies that have been added. I really love that blue and gold uh, vase back there. I think I'm going to get a closer look at that. It is marked on the bottom. That's not a marking that I'm familiar with. And it's dated 1999. I think it's just a really pretty contrast. These are also gorgeous. $60. Gosh. The paint on that is still super vibrant. I kind of want to look a little bit closer at this blue opaline bud face. Probably French. $60 on that. Yeah, it's likely French. Okay, well, I don't see anything in our price range for resale, but I love looking through this case. This booth is 25% off. And it seems like every time I come through here, they always have some really amazing embroidered artwork. Uh, the last time I think it was a basket with strawberries in it. Now it's this with the colorful flowers. There's the price. Let's see what it says. It is $60. 25% off. I'm going to resist it. I do want to get a closer look at this tray here. $10 for that. I'm surprised there's no markings on there. Maybe there was originally. I don't know. Really pretty gold. That mint green. It looks so nice together. And then the last thing I wanted to look at was this ladle. It's Polish pottery. I don't think I've ever seen a ladle before. Okay, so I absolutely love this booth, and I find some great stuff in here. I was kind of drawn in by this apron, $175 on that. It's absolutely beautiful. I think the last apron I bought was, um, it was Fenton, it was a, a red uh, stretch glass. This is also very pretty. It has kind of a stretch glass finish. What does it say on the bottom? Show. Bloomberg signed bowl 112. Stunning stretch glass finish on that. This thing is absolutely wild looking. 
It even has horns. Come here, you. There we go. What does it say on the back? Oh my gosh. <laughs> 77, I wonder if that's 1977. $45 on the wooden guy. Yeah, you know what? I think uh, I think I like him enough that I'll take him with me. Before I take off, I'm gonna check out um, Becky's booth and uh, Tiffany's booth and see if there's anything new. I kind of doubt it because, like I said, I was just here. But always worth checking. This guy's really neat. Nigerian. He's pretty cool. He's very heavy and solid wood. Those look interesting. I don't know if those were here the other day. It's Royal Dalton. They're Italian. National Emblem. And Frank Beadmore Fenton. Interesting. Very interesting. So $25 for the set of five plates. I may have to look those up. What is this back here? Excuse me, pretty lady. I'm going to set you right here for a minute. And I'm going to check these out. What is that? $30. Aqua blue glass center bowl. It's more of a cobalt blue. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Wowzers. And then there's... Are they matchy-matchy? I don't think they are. They are cobalt blue, but they're not matching. I think this might be Viking. I think it's blue neak, but I'm not positive on that. It just kind of has a blue neak look. I don't think that Murano was here the other day. This is Murano uh, Starry Night. $65. It's really nice. The 65 even at 25% um, off. I don't think that's really worthwhile, but yes, that is Starry Night, and you can see because of those swirls. Well, I don't think I gave Becky enough time to restock her booth, because <laughs> it's a lot of the same that I saw the other day. This is definitely interesting. I don't think I noticed that the other day. It's an art glass starfish, but it's like opaque. I like him. I think Becky has 20% off. So we'll give him a chance. Alright, so <laughs> I just happened to notice this guy as I was walking by and he's just absolutely adorable. Obviously he's more modern. He's 15 bucks. But he is a fun um, yard art owl, I would say. He's probably yard art. I like him. I'll put him in my yard. Okay, well I was there for about an hour and my total spend was $198. I feel like we did all right and it was nice to just go slow and look around. Um, I went to a lot of the booths that I skipped the last time I was here so it was kind of fresh. But I'm very excited about that Roseville piece. Uh, when I first picked it up I wasn't sure. Is it Roseville? Is it Weller? I don't know. But Google image search came to the rescue. So I'm gonna get out of here now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all with you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.